Okay, Adam, convincing 4-0 uh, victory over Kingstonian here at home tonight. Um, they say moments change games, and Tommy Reid, obviously, Akayi was through on goal with him, pulled off a save. 30 seconds later, it's in the back of their net. How big a moment was that in yeah, the match? Yeah, huge, huge mess, uh, moment in the game. Um, I thought we played, played well without really um, working their keeper too much first half. Um, and then, like I say, out of nowhere, um, I think we turned over the ball in midfield. I think Jess has gone to win it and they've nicked it around him and um, yeah, the lads got slotted in. Um, yeah, I think maybe like Tom could have come out and dealt with it, but when he hasn't, he's retreated and you know he can't fault him. He's made an unbelievable save there for us. Um, you know, same with Harrison on Saturday. Uh, big moments and like I say every player is chipping in at the moment. Um, you know, players that come off the bench players that come in to, to help us out and a massive thank you to Brighton for getting it all agreed um, as soon as the new Sunday that Harrison could be struggling um, you know, straight on the phone to John Morland the academy manager and got the process through and um, I think it just about went through in time which was very grateful for them to, to help us uh, get Tommy in. Okay um, so Harrison's injury how, 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 bad, it, how bad is it? Yeah, just from that double save, he's just got a, little, a bit of a tweak on the elbow, so it shouldn't be too too sinister, too long. Um, touch and go for Saturday, um, so probably the following Saturday will be a definite. Um, so, yeah, we've got to assess him and, and see how he is Thursday, um, and if not, hopefully um, Brighton do us a favour and allow Tommy to play again Saturday. Uh, okay, um, so first 10 minutes, I thought we, we were just absolutely dominant. Then it sort of went a, a bit quiet, although they didn't really get into the game as 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 much. And then the end of the first half, two two brilliant goals by Callum Keeley. No, it was yeah. Um, you know, Ollie's unlucky, great head. I thought forced the keeper into a save, and then Cal, you know, said to him to be in between the posts um, for crosses and stuff like that. And you know, that's that's why we want him um, in there and on hand to to get the rebound and. Yeah, it takes the second one really well. It's with a lot of pace and just flies by the keeper. Um, so yeah, he's, he's playing with a lot of confidence at the moment, and um, you know, him and Ollie look to have a good understanding together. Yeah, how how, impo how important is is that 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 understanding between your forward players, especially with what the games we've got coming up, etc. It's going to be key, I would think. No, yeah, we had uh, Luke and Deshaun started on Saturday, um, and then we had Jasper and, and David come in today in the wider areas. Um, Miki's come on now and got two goals, and I thought there was a part in um, the season where he was our our main player who was having a real impact in game. So, you know, we got him to come back in and try and try and fit in as well. Um, but that's how we want it. That's you know, it's a it's an unbelievable group at the moment, and it really is. It's hard having those conversations before a game to leave players out of the squad. You know, players that have done so well for us on Saturday and then tell them they're not in the squad um, on the Tuesday. It is, it is tough, it's, it's not easy, but I think they all know um, and understand you know, why we're trying to keep keep it fresh and, and rotate as best we can. And certain games are going to um, demand certain things and certain players are going to be more suited for, for those games. And um, yes, I think that the attitude of the players at the end there, there's like three players just running off their own back, putting in some hard craft and um, you know, the attitude of the players is, is why we're, we're doing so well in my opinion. Okay, and then we go on to the, the second half. Um, I thought the referee could have clamped down a bit in the first half with some of the challenges that were going in. Um, he sort of let them go for some reason, and then second half, it was uh, he, f he thought it was Christmas, and he was handing the, the cards out at left, right, and centre. And obviously, suspensions are going to be a thing com com coming up, and we've got to be careful. And I've had a couple of our yellow cards were probably not needed. I think Jasper got involved when I felt that he really didn't need to go and get involved. No, that's right, and I think that that sort of whole sequence there. I think the rest got a bit stronger. I think he's seen the incident. Because um, I, I see it and I see the ref right behind trying to get a good look and I think it's in it and the, the linesman's apparently told him what he see as well um, and he's still not, not bra been brave enough to give the, the correct decision in my opinion um, and then because of that I felt that that spell after that there was about 10, 10 minutes or so where it was 2-0 and they were just trying to get on top a little bit um, and you know if they score in that time I think it's a completely different game.
Um, but there were some real, real good, honest signs today. I thought there was uh, obviously Tommy save. Um, then there was a challenge where about three players threw their bodies on the line to get a block. Um, and then at the end there, when Jesse and Marvin got in each other's way, and Deshaun and Miki sprint back, and you know the players are all working really hard for each other, and I thought that was really evident today. Yeah, it was a good performance all round. Like I say, we really, really limited their their, their chances. Um, so basically, you know, a, a, a good, a good strong win, good strong performance. We saw Enfield have lost. Uh, Bishop Storford had had a convincing win. We go to Bishop Storford on Saturday. Um, what would your hopes be for that game? Would it be like be nice to get out of there with a point, or are we going to go for it and try and get all three? Uh, yeah, I think you know we've got a lot of momentum at the moment. We've got four clean sheets on the bounce now, um, so that'd be the key thing to try and you know make that five on Saturday. Um, and at this stage of the season, that'd be a huge boost for us. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a completely different test again than what tonight is. Um, you know, apparently I think there's a storm coming in on Friday, so I don't know how it's going to affect everything on Saturday. Um, so it could be a heavy pitch, um, you don't know what the wind condition is going to be like, whether it's still a bit stormy and stuff. So yeah, we'll have to assess you know, what we're coming up against in terms of conditions and stuff like that as well. Um, but whatever, whatever it'll be, there'll be no excuses on our, our, half, uh, our, our behalf, we'll um, go there and you know, try and, if it's a, it's a battle that, that's needed, um, you know, we'll be ready for that like we was on Saturday and um, if we're able to get the ball down and, and try and play our football then we'll try and do that. But yeah, we, we, we try and go into every game to be competitive um, and Saturday will be no different. Okay, and Thursday, Thursday they'll be in for training. Um, will it be a sort of a, a lighter sh session, or will we, or will you just keep up what what you're doing in in the training sessions at the moment? Yeah, I think the ones that played back to back ninety minutes um, will obviously do a little bit less, and the ones that have not had two nineties will there'll be a big enough group to have a good session. Um, so that's what we'd like to do. We'll. Um, Give the ones that need a rest a bit of a rest and a bit of a stretch and some work with Sam and um, the others a bit more of a bigger session so that they're ready when if 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 they're needed on Saturday. Okay, and obviously I mean, you've spoke about Harrison's injury. Is it any other concerns within the squad injury wise? No, just Aaron took a bit of a tweak to his knee um, on Saturday, so he come through. He felt a bit in the warm up. Obviously, come through today. He wouldn't know there's anything wrong with him his performance in the last yeah. two games but yeah he might be one we'll have to monitor um, for for um, Thursday uh, so he'll probably do a lot of work with Sam and very light session and hopefully he'll be right for Saturday. Okay we'll, we'll see you Saturday away at Bishop Storford. Nice one. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thanks mate.